Yes. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? Okay. Oh, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, be careful. Oops, everyone. Close your eyes. Don't look at this. Don't, don't look at this right here. We're not allowed to show this. What is this? What is that? It looks heck cool. You ready? A one, a two. I know you guys love this. Three. All right, what's up, Locker Nets? Okay, the sun's in my eyes right now, but that's okay as long as you can see what's behind me right here. A whole wall of boxes, and this is just the front of my storage locker, which goes way back there. But this section here, this is all the stuff that we bought at the pallet auctions, and I have to be kind of finding this humorous because they told us you can't film, you can't even mention our company in social media. Okay. Maybe don't put your don't put your logo and your website on your boxes. In almost all the boxes, the majority of the boxes have that on it. So if you guys are curious where the pallet auction was, boom. I'm not mentioning their name though. Mm -mm, that was against the rules. But <laughs> silly. But I'm happy that we went because or that I went because I got some good stuff this time. If you saw the last video, we opened mm, maybe like five boxes and peeked in there and we saw some Bose speakers that are so exciting because this is the old stuff 60s um those are back there right now i gotta work on this area i gotta start digging some room here so we can move and i don't have to like squeeze and climb over stuff to get back there let's start right here um yeah i'm thinking how about this one right here i'm gonna put my gopro on let's take a peek and see what we find all right let's go let's go see what's in here obviously i haven't peeked in this one Sealed shut. Uh oh. Oh. What's that? What's that right there? That looks like a guitar case, maybe, or some sort of an instrument case. I see some lights, like stage lighting. Oh, yes. Yes. We are off to a good start. My goodness. <laughs> Okay, no clue as to value of this. No clue. But. Huh, there's the model number. P A R 38 A slash U L. I'll be looking that up. Oh, you better believe it. Okay. This is like stuff for like serious like concerts and things. Alright, we got the filtered lens. There's a green, the other one was red or amber. Same model number. It'd be great if I could use that for lighting our own personal studio. Yeah, that looks pretty heavy duty. Snapshot 2. High powered strobe light. Oh, sweet. You know, I think these, if these have enough value, this might be a, a bunch of decent eBay items. Oh, what is this? Guys, I think those are two our instrument cases too. Oh yes. Oh yes. Okay, what's this? Channel Chaser. American DJ. Hmm. T4. Oh, this is sweet. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. I know what this is. This is a microphone boom, I, I believe. Right here. And that's a decent little tripod. You know what, guys, we might be keeping that. I think there's another one. Okay, there's something here. It's another mic stand. Heck yeah. <laughs> I know this is this is LED light strand. We had a few of these. I kept them because I'm like, man, I want to I want to plug that in. I want to I want to set these up in the garage, and I never got around to it. I finally sold it. Well, maybe this time around I'll do something about it. Okay, there's the yellow. Built. Built. It feels like this is a helmet. It's kind of odd to have a helmet in with the music equipment. Um, man, oh man. Okay, we got a, some kind of goggles. Got a bandana. I really need a table. 
and a freezel facial protector, right? So it's for it's for motorcycles, right? We already found a motorcycle jacket, so Uvex is that good? All right. Oh, okay. There's a surge protector. And there's a mic. Let's see what we got here. P51. It's pretty heavy. P51. Okay, I don't know. I'll look that up too. We're going to be looking a lot of stuff up tonight. <laughs> what are these? These are pretty, pretty weathered here, but Audio Technica Studio Phones. ATH M40 FS Audio Technica Studio Phones. They're way, way weathered. But I wonder if those are still got some value. I don't know. Guitar cables, a lot of cables. It's a decent little bag. Oh man. Oh, I need some longer arms. Well, this feels like another helmet. This is almost exactly like the other one. Okay, we got some glasses, a couple pairs of gloves, wait, novelty headwear does not meet safety standards. Novelty headwear? Is this some sort of a band outfit, like, right? Maybe they wore that, maybe that's part of their, their thing on stage. Alright, let's see, what's this? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is this? Okay. What do you think this is? A violin? Oh, come on. This could be some money. Hmm. Looks more like a prop. It's got a crack right here. What is this? Is this stuff? What's that? Hmm. What is this? Now I'm thinking it might be a prop since the uh, helmets were a prop. I see something written in there. Can you guys see that? This is the Gold Dan, G U L D A N, made by the Jackson Golden Violin Company, Columbus, Ohio. Now, this is a real violin. It's just a. Uh, it's got a, a huge crack right here. I don't know if that's the seam that's come unglued or if that's a crack. But this is here definitely a crack. That's not supposed to be. Huh. Alright. Well, it's in a very old case here. Interesting. Okay. Got another one. Oh man, this is so cool. It's thrash though. But man, it's got a good look to it. What's it say here? Bull's head. Looks like it's been left outside. Call that the wand. Oh boy, you guys, this one's also in super rough condition. But I don't know, there might be some value with these. They're definitely old. They feel light. This one inside says the Borg Balancing Control Tone Refiner. That's what the sticker inside says. I'm not sure what that means. Um. I don't see any other markings inside. What is this? Okay, here's that piece that was in the other one right here. It goes here, I think that's where you put your chin on it. Hmm. This is pretty, pretty awesome. I, I don't know if there's value here. I would say probably not. Why was it in here?
Oh. Yeah, this stuff. Okay. That's a pedal of some sort. Okay, a bunch of guitar cords, I mean cables. And this is a... Uh, <laughs> there really is a direct TV in there too, an ADT. Huh. Seems... Seems kind of random. But this thing might be worth something. Mm, maybe not. Okay, uh-oh. This feels light. Feels pretty light, guys. Oh, it's it, it, something in here, but again, there's no strings. And it feels cheap. No markings in there. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, boy, there's no markings at all that I can see. Bummer. Got all excited there, but you know what? The fact that it's got this stuff could be a reason to believe that there's more stuff like this. Okay, that's just a little end table or stool. It'd be cool if it's mid century, but I don't think it is. That was a super exciting box. Super exciting. It didn't pan out quite as good as I thought because of those those uh, instruments are just in terrible condition. But um, all this kind of stuff, this is so good. So good. It means we might find some a lot more stuff. This guy's in a band. Let's see what's in this one. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'm kind of missing something there. Yeah, boogie board. A big old soft pillow. That'll probably sell. It's huge. Another pillow. Looks like a draft print. Shoot. This stuff's way down there. make this drop side right here for that reason. Okay. Alright, what's this? It says something. There's some kind of message written across here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> There's family. I eh, probably should have guessed that. I saw the F-A. I was hoping maybe it said something with Faith because we have a daughter named Faith. Family. That's cool. It'll sell. It's a nice piece, actually. Okay, this is a... Uh, Hmm, it almost looks like it was, it's been used up to, to the nub there, but I think this was intended to be more of a decorative piece. It looks like someone used it, used it up. Right, here. God bless this home and all who enter. Very nice. But what's even nicer is, oh, this looks like a big old sort of a printer or scanner. NFC MG7520. Let's look this up. Okay, we're gonna go to our eBay app. Search for anything. So we'll put NFC and then MG7520. Okay, because that's the that's what it says right there. Hmm. Canon Pixma MG7520. Whew, $267 brand new. Alright, let's look at the sold. I'm liking that though. Sold, refurbished for 110. Open box 30. Ooh, it went down fast. Parts only 26. Eey. Brand new six. Oh, that's the ink. Okay. 44. In the box, brand new 200. Brand new 313, brand new. All right, well, 44 bucks. It's not super expensive. 44 bucks. I don't really feel like testing that and listing it. It's such a big 
item the ship, we'll probably just bring that to the market. But we probably won't get very much to do. I don't know. I'll have to figure out what to do with that. Alright guys, next box. Yeah. Ooh, okay, I saw something good right here. Alright. Oh, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, be careful. Okay. That's nothing. Um, this right here. Okay, so this it's kind of jammed in there. Picture frame. Hmm, this is for this is like for a grinder, I think. The tool to take the blade off. Pretty sure that's what that is. A couple toys, a little webcam, VTech phone. Okay, this is now we're getting to something good here. Toyota test car and okay. Well, it looks like the box has been open, but it's in there. We'll look this up. We've had a little bit of luck with these in the past, just little model cars. Um, model meaning they're just small replicas but this is what I was interested in right here this looks to be a little bit old I'm trying to be careful because it's still in the oh goodness, it's still in the shrink wrap but it's it's, it's huge yeah um it's kind of yeah you get it right <laughs> kind of beat up kind of beat up but um if it's as old as I'm hoping it is I'm hoping it's like from the 80s and if it is, it's going to be, we're going to have a little bit of value here. Huh. Oh, nope, there it is, 1997. Okay, not as old as I wanted it to be. It's right over there. Um, but this could, I mean, it's 20 bucks in 97. It's been 23 years. Still in the package. Obviously, this is not going to be like a collector piece, I don't think, because the box is so mangled. But for somebody who likes to do these old models, there is a market out there. I've done very well. I've sold... Oh, this one's heavy. I sold them for over a hundred bucks. Oh, that's kind of cool. We should probably look these up. Especially this one. It looks older. There's a raccoon flap right here. Or a cat flap. Same thing. Here's some hand, handwritten scraps of paper that were just between the magazines. I'm withdrawing my plea for you from you... I can't stand the way you help me feel the way I do. If it's friendship that you say you're sharing with me, it's one-sided, and I don't think that's the way the way it should be. So why do you do you think about that? Think about that. Think about that, my friend. Think about that. Think about that. Think about that. Take a look at that. Almost everything has its time and place in the world, even selfishness, but not 24/7, girl. So what you want for yourself is for your selfish, and that's cool. For you, not for me though, my patience getting thin, holding on to the end of the rope, and soon I'll lose my grip. So dig real deep, get real, think, pray, before you lose what you could gain. Lyrics. Okay, so we have a ton of lyrics here. My goodness. Okay, what do we got here? This is cool too. Very cool. 2001. So it's not that old. Um, it's not that new either. 19 years old. But the question is going to be is it still. Yeah. Still intact. That's good. Alright. So there's another good puzzle, uh, model. I don't know how much that is, but I'd say 30, 40 bucks minimum. Okay. Oops, everyone. Close your eyes. Don't look at this. Don't don't look at this right here. We're not allowed to show this or mention it anyways. Oh, okay, next box and we got some junkage. Yucky. <laughs> okay, this is I don't like doing it this way. The first one was the most exciting and it's kind of gone downhill from there. There's a decent helmet right here anyways. It's all worn right here, but it's decent bell, you know. Uh, no, no. Okay, well, a few bucks at the market, I think, but not not much. And there's like a skateboarding helmet. Protec. It's a nice scarf. 
What is this? What is this? I don't know. I don't know what this is. What the heck is this? I think it goes this way. I really don't know what that is. A humidifier, maybe? Alright. Those are decent. Nice Pumas. Muck Lux. Seen better days, but. So, Jessica Simpson. Some more Pumas. There's like, hey, is there one of each too? Okay, here's a leather jacket. Global identity. Hmm. Small. Alright. This is soft right here. What is this? John Carlisle Essentials. That's a little bit nicer right here. It's really soft. It's a little dirty though, isn't it? Yeah, the sleeve's very dirty. Oh, this one feels good, guys. This one feels good right here. Did I see something right here? Let's open this one. And I think we might be getting close to running out of time, so... This might be the last one. Let's take a peek. Okay. What do we have here? This is some sort of a speaker. Oh, wait. Okay, we did. I think we peeked in this box already. We peeked in it when we were, when we were loading. What is this? What is that? It looks heck cool. Oh, we got two. Look at that. There's two boxes. Okay, before we get to that, let's pull this out. What is this? Okay, this is a big outlet plug. Okay, that's good. Got here. Hmm. I know what this is. This is a, a carbon. This is a uh, a guitar pedal. But I've had this before, and I sold it for some decent money. Bad house, huh? Hmm. This is some good stuff right here. This is some money right here. That's what money looks like, guys. That's what money looks like. Okay, what do we got here? Clipsitch. Clipsitch. Alright, the ultimate sound experience. We got a subwoofer from Clipsitch. You see that? And SW350. Oh, here's the back of it. SW350. I'm gonna look that up. This is this is decent right here. This is a good find. That's gonna be a few bucks. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, this is cool. Oh. <laughs> this is a real mystery. Okay, guys, I had to stop and get a thumbnail. These, these are just too cool. I had to get a picture of it before we tapped into them and see what's in here. This, the look on them is just so cool. So I, as I mentioned, we did peek in that big box. We did look in the, this is one of the few ones we looked at. That's why I was so excited because I saw this as well as a few other things. We did not open this yet though. We didn't look inside the box. We just peeked in the cardboard. Let's see, you guys ready? <laughs> uh, I wanna make sure we get right inside this thing. Okay, you ready? A one, a two, I know you guys love this. Three, oh. What? Alright, well, I mean, okay. Well, there's a battery charger for, let's see what it goes to, like, this is just a generic one. Oh no, it says it has a model number on there, VM-AC64AS. Video equipment, I have a feeling it's for a video camera. There's a whole bunch of cables, those cables are good, you know. Oh, what do we have here? PV. Remote switch, that's good. Select and effects, reverb. That's good. That's actually really good. Um, and you know what? We might actually have a PV amp. I, I have a feeling we may have a PV amp. So all this stuff up here that we found, I'm going to stick in this box. This is, this is a cool box. Definitely a cool box. Um, this stuff is, is good. It's just not like 
fantastic, but I'm not complaining. It's all music stuff, and music stuff is pretty hot. Earlier this year, I had a hit on some music stuff. I touched on it with what I showed you guys. It was called a multi, I called it the multi collector unit, and uh, man, that stuff's so good and, and for a lot of money. Okay, one more. This one's a slightly bigger. We got two clasps. See that? Okay, so on three. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> That doesn't look like music stuff. Come on. Come on. Uh, waffle maker. Uh, snack and sandwich maker. It's like a panini toaster or something. Uh, here's just a pitcher. Uh, oh, wonderful. Broken. Oh, those ones too. Lovely. They're not all broken, but it sucks that those are broken. And that's pretty much it. See a uh, butter knife down there. Mm. Work, work. All right, I, I want to just make sure you guys know because yesterday on our thumbnail we had the military bag and that was a bust and today we had those whatever you call them fruit ridge sound boxes trunks the little trunks bust but <laughs> I don't I pick the thumbnails that look the most interesting um, because to me when I'm going through the boxes and I see that that to me is the most interesting So it draws me in I get the most excited about what might be in there You know it starts getting those creative juices going I start imagining you know like what could be in there really good stuff And that's what I put on the thumbnail I'm not intentionally putting things on the thumbnail that wind up being a disappointment one of these days we're gonna have a trunk or a jewelry box or a safe that's like Mm, really good stuff but guys i just want to make sure that you know my intention is putting that on the thumbnail it's for one to of course draw interest from you guys but also because that is what draws interest for me as i'm here digging through the stuff as well so it is the way it is i'm trying to uh, bring you along for the adventure let you experience it for yourself part of it is the disappointment part of it's the excitement it's all part of it and i hope you agree with me that it all together is a fun time to be had.